thanks to Nero, I can show you a quick fix on how to make your DVD chapters play continuously or go back to each chapter once you want to once the chapter ends. First you make a DVD, click on that DVD video. Then I go to import, import files. I'm going to click on three different folders for the heck of it. I'm holding my control key down because that way I click on them and they should go in the order I'm clicking. I take my finger off the control key and I hit open. And they will open up. And they're not in the order I clicked. I know if that made a difference or not. But anyway, here's the first title. Then I go to the next step. Well, I can move them down if I want to. So I'll go move down. And then I'll click this one, move up. I want that on top. I go next. And then here's where I was having problems before. If you go to, you got templates and you got customize. You go to the customize. And then you go to the disk settings thing. And right now it's default to jump to the menu. So after each chapter, it's going to jump back to the menu. You have to click on the next one and the next one. Uh, if you want to go like this, play next title. Now it's going to pay, play the next title after this one finishes. It autom automatically will play this one and then this one. I'm going to go back for the fun of it. Uh, you got the three. Now I'm going to go next again. Play next title. It's good what we've got. Then I'm going back to Templates, Chapter and Menus, Title Menus Only, Standard. Well, you can change it to you double click. Funny. I'll name this one Funny for Funny. We had the cap locked down. F U N N Y for Funny Videos. Okay, that's good. And then I can go Standard 2D or Animated 2D or Smart 3D. 3D is pretty cool stuff. Uh, let me just show you a 3D for an example. I've not done this before, so I'll try it out. Any of them, do you want to continue? Yes. It's going to load this one up. Transparent cubes. This is pretty cool. Then you go to next. And this is going to show you what it's going to look like. You can also add your own music if you want to. Click on this one. Okay, and that's basically how it works. And then you just click burn and you'll be all set to go. It's pretty simple. Hope this helped you.